You've seen the title. This is not clickbait. I cannot believe this has happened either. But we don't even know what this year's Call of Duty game is called or who's making it or when it's going to be announced. But somehow, gameplay of this year's Call of Duty game has leaked online. Well, supposedly anyway. We can't tell for sure if it is this year's Call of Duty game. But based on the video footage that I have seen, it looks like Modern Warfare's engine, but with Black Ops assets, which is just absolutely absolutely insane. And you are probably just as confused as I am about how this footage has ended up online. Well, Twitter user Oog the Legend tweeted what appeared to be a 90 second clip of alpha build footage of the upcoming Call of Duty game. Now he tweeted this footage and deleted it within the space of two minutes. But even only being up for two minutes, people have screen recorded the gameplay and have shared it around the internet. And Activision are actively taking down these posts already, which adds a little bit of legitimacy to this actually being gameplay from this year's Call of Duty. Now, according to the user that posted the gameplay on Twitter, it's a clip from a new multiplayer map called Tanks and shows off some of the game's movements movement being mantling and running, as well as some examples of an assault rifle being used. Now I cannot show you the gameplay in this video whatsoever. Regardless if it is Call of Duty 2020 or it isn't, it 100% looks like Call of Duty, but all I can do is describe to you what I saw. If you want to see it for yourself, then you can probably find it very easily on the internet. But describing what I saw, it looks really smooth. Like the movement from when you're running with the gun out, it looks exactly like modern warfare. And even with the mantling as well, it looks exactly like it. And even the reload animations that were shown off as well looks very similar to Modern Warfare. And that's definitely not a bad thing in my opinion. Regardless of what you think of Modern Warfare, you cannot deny how smooth the game plays, the fluidity of the movement and the animations. It just looks fantastic. And this looked really similar. It seemed like the character was holding a FAMAS by the looks of things, which is very exciting if that is the case because that gives us a little indication on where in the setting it's going to be which seems very similar to black ops 1 since that had a fam ass you could also see the coordinates thing at the top middle of the screen very similar to what you had in blackout as well as in modern warfare in general like it looks identical to the one from modern warfare and the absolute undeniable proof that whatever this is is definitely a treyarch made production is the fact that in one part of the clip they run up to a van which has the word Diazla written on it which is a company that is sprawled all over the Arsenal multiplayer map from Black Ops 4. So I don't know if it's 100% the next Call of Duty or not but it's something from a Treyarch production without doubt. Now straight away I was questioning well what is that doing in a game which is supposedly set in the Cold War? This can't be Call of Duty 2020 but judging by how basic the map looked it looked very bare bones like definitely a alpha or a pre-alpha version of the game. It looks like there was just a load of Black Ops 4 assets that were put into the game, but it had the movement of the weapons and the animations that were very reminiscent of Modern Warfare. And to add as well, the FAMAS has a reflex sight, which again looked very similar and reminded me of Black Ops 1. There was also a mini-map in the top left, which is always a great sign since Modern Warfare wasn't going to originally launch with one. Looking at the multiplayer map name supposedly being tanks, there is a of course an actual tank on the map it's in what seems to be like a hangar so it's pretty low ceiling so in the gameplay the character mantles onto the tank and they're already near the top of the ceiling in that area but there also seemed to be a weird sort of functionable button or computer next to the tank i don't know what that would be for but the map seemed open where you have a lot of open aired spaces you can clearly see the blue skies in parts of the gameplay as well and you see some trees and just a bunch of things as well. But man, this is wild. I've never ever, to my recollection, heard of gameplay of a new Call of Duty game leaking this early in the typical cycle of Call of Duty games in the history of Call of Duty. Black Ops 4 was pretty bad for pre-alpha gameplay leaks like Blood of the Dead before Black Ops 4's release was a pretty memorable one. But there also was pre-alpha gameplay of the multiplayer which was released about a year ago. And even just recently there was gameplay that was uploaded by a developer that worked at Raven Software on a mode for Black Ops 4 which people assumed was campaign but it was actually some sort of like 
2v2 multiplayer mode and that spread like wildfire as well so this is just another one of those incredibly weird situation where i can't fathom how on earth this has happened but believe me if you can find this video yourself which is probably going to be pretty difficult as i assume activision are going to be clamping down on this footage being online but if you do manage to see it for yourself you will absolutely tell that this is a call of duty game and is more likely than not actually a pre-alpha build of this year's call of duty now what is truly wild is the guy that posted this gameplay has said on twitter before deleting all his tweets is that he's actually seen 45 minutes of this year's call of duty game all 45 minutes have not been posted anywhere but the section of pre-alpha footage of around 1 minute 45 was shared and that's what I described in this video. It is absolutely crazy times, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to keep yourself up to date with the latest on Call of Duty 2020, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like rating and I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section about what you've heard of this year's game. I dropped the video earlier today looking at five Call of Duty games that got cancelled, as in Call of Duty games which we probably would have gotten as main yearly CODs but instead got cancelled. So if you subscribed and haven't seen that please go ahead and check it out now it's a very interesting watch but thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in another video very very soon